for me it was a an absolute marvelous outstanding adventure it's like i was expecting it to be like 10% maybe 20% of the excitement of a rocket launch and of flying to space like in the early days but but after a few minutes or yeah after a few instances outside i already knew no this is a completely different world it's a completely new adventure and i would say it's like almost again 100% excitement um it's as intense and emotionally for me um what i experienced exactly as my rocket launch and flying to the ISS. It's just an incredible day. It's an it's being in an environment where you've never been before, on the outside walking in open space, in vacuum, doing things that are on one side really dangerous, but on the other side so well managed, so well prepared, thanks to this excellent training that we got, that you feel like Yes, this is like training and I could do it and you're confident. But it's also a lot of mental effort. Um in the days before the spacewalk, it's like I was reflecting again and again um like every little step that I need to do and I was also questioning myself, myself are you well prepared? Did you do everything uh, in order to master it? Are you up for this? And uh, so it's excitement and after the successful spacewalk is also a huge sensation of achievement so overall it's a 100 a 1000% positive uh, day for me yes uh, the training underwater is actually an extremely uh, outstanding preparation for a spacewalk there are certain differences for example you have underwater the water drag so you don't flip around like in weightlessness all the time because the water slows you down um also you're not really weightless underwater because still uh, if you're upside down underwater all the blood from your body will rush into your head and uh, here in space we have um zero gravity which means like the 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 fluids from my body are always flowing up and I'm always floating also inside my space suit I would be floating but I was lucky my suit was excellent fitting and uh, so I was very happy so um thanks or due to the floating in s in uh, here in space it's easier to lose awareness of your orientation you're constantly moving and when you're working you're only focused or mainly focused on where you are working what your hands are doing and maybe you rotate you're facing forward you're facing left you're facing right you're facing backwards and so it's easier to get a little bit distracted on where your tools are where your tethers are and so that is in space a little bit more effort uh to control everything because you're more static more solid underwater but then translation movements here in space it's so much easier than underwater underwater like translating um along the space station which is in the pool it's a hard physical effort and after the training i'm always extremely fatigued and tired and it was much less um um of an intense physical effort to do all this stuff here in space actually the tasks that i had were technically not as challenging it's most of the time i had to do a lot of translations to walk from one extreme point of the station to another extreme point of the station um for example i had to do cable routing i had to establish uh, electrical connectors that were problematic in the past and uh, i had to bring out an adapter which also like initially didn't want to uh, um like plug in and um so i had to put in a lot of physical effort to uh, actually match and 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 like establish the connection so that was uh, mainly like the physical effort of moving across the station and um, yeah performing all these different activities that i had to do um, the technically more challenging activities 
were reserved for my friend Raja, who was on the robotic arm. He had to establish hydraulic connectors. Um, this requires a lot more interaction with the ground personnel and also with the, uh, our friends who flew the arm. So, um, but I still believe I got a better deal because I could like see many more parts of the station and I had better views down to planet Earth. So overall, we're both very happy with what we got and um, so it was an evenly balanced uh, spacewalk for both of us. So actually, when we egressed um, first Raja, he was EV-1 and then me, we immediately started with an off-nominal situation. It's um, He got entangled with um, his uh, safer rescue um, handle in a small tether. And so this handle opened and it activates the hand controller that came out. So this hand controller usually during uh, an emergency say, uh, situation needs to deploy uh, because we need it to fly back to the station in case that we get lost. But in a standard situation, you don't want to have this hand controller outside. So my task when I got outside and I saw it had deployed, which happens occasionally in space, um, I had to uh, like fold up all the electrical wires and uh, like make it a small neat package and put it back in into a small compartment and close the door and that's already a challenge uh, on the ground uh, and like not wearing big gloves but uh, being out in space and having big uh, space gloves on um, i initially thought like wow that that will be a difficult situation and uh, let's see if we can manage this but uh, very surprisingly it went absolutely flawless and like I think like not even two, three minutes, um, I had uh, completely restored the initial configuration. But then a second problem started. Um, I brought back one of the bags that came out with uh, Russia in the beginning um, and pulled back the right bag that we needed to bring out for our working uh, objectives. And by doing so, I got snagged in the same tether that he got snagged for his safer handle. And this time, my helmet camera lights and my um, uh, yeah the lights and the camera that were installed on the head of my helmet uh, came off it's also a known problem that has happened several times in the past uh, also to my colleague Thomas Pesquet during one of his last e e uh, EVAs and so like we were on one side happy to have solved the first problem but then immediately we started with the second problem and um, so all that was fixed very quickly with uh, some wire ties that Raja used to fix the helmet light back um, on my helmet and then after this uh, initial delay we were ready to start our spacewalk objectives Absolutely, absolutely. It's such an amazing and beautiful view. Being in a spacesuit and being outside, there's nothing between you and the cosmos or planet Earth below than just a very thin layer of plexiglass. And it's just the best view you can imagine. Initially, I was a little bit scared that, okay, will I be afraid of looking down? Because some astronauts reported that initially when you get out, you might feel the sensation of falling and being scared and then you are stressed and you try to hold um, on a handrail with really a strong grip. And I thought like, I cannot afford to uh, have such a solid grip because it will fatigue my arms. And I had a lot of translations, a lot of walking to do with my hands on the station. And so um, I made a plan uh, and I decided like, Initially, when I get out, I don't want to look down to planet Earth. I will look down later when I, I feel comfortable, when I get used to the situation, just to make sure that I never get into such a, uh, up to such a point where I thought like, okay, it's like I feel scared and, and I, I start to, to, to grip really hard. And uh, luckily, um, thanks to the two problems that we had at the beginning, I never had the chance actually to look down and to get distracted because I was focused on solving the problems that we had and after they were solved I was very confident okay we can solve problems so what's what's the matter here it's like well, let's do it and I looked down I enjoyed the view and it was absolutely 
the most amazing view and the most amazing feeling I have ever uh, had, like being out here in space. Incredible. And yes, I could enjoy the view and I even took 1,500 photos during my spacewalk. Actually, I flew twice over my home area, the Silent region. Uh, the second time was already when I was crawling inside, being inside the airlock. I think Russia was still outside, so the second time I couldn't see it. During the first time, uh, the flight controllers from the ground gave me a call and said, like, Matthias, you're flying over your home area. And I looked out, but uh, it was just the transition um, between day and night. So down on the ground, they were already in the night and we were still in daylight so they could see us. My, my people from the home area could see me absolutely perfectly. There's even a person who took a high detailed photo where uh, we actually, where you actually can see the ISS, the robotic arm, and maybe even Raja and me crawling on the outside. So um, it was a perfect view for them from the ground to see us. Um, but when I looked down, it's like I only could see the transition between dark, uh, between day and night, so the transition between dark and bright. And uh, also I was on top of the space station uh, looking like to the horizon, which makes the view even more challenging because my home area was straight down. So the answer is I couldn't see them. I think the entire spacewalk was such an amazing experience right from the beginning when we had to solve um, the issues, the problems, and uh, after successful completion of like troubleshooting, we both felt like, yes, we can handle the situation. And so that was one of the best experiences I had, like to say like, yes, I feel comfortable out here because the training was a perfect preparation. I feel confident that I can do the objectives. And even if there is a problem, we can solve the problem. So that gave me such an amount of trust into our own capabilities and all the questions and all the doubts that I had before um, that was all gone, gone within instance. So our EVA, our spacewalk, uh, was almost seven hours long, six hours, 55 minutes, I believe exactly. And um, we started already very early in the morning, so uh, around three to four hours before the spacewalk, you're actually already in the suit. So by the time we got back in and um, like, my colleagues helped me to take off the spacesuit first, one of the gloves, the second glove. Then you feel like, oh, I can move my hands again without such a physical strain and effort. And then they take off the helmet and you think like, oh, I can breathe again. I can again scratch my nose. And um, then you glide out of the suit and you feel like, oh, I can move again. And my muscles are a little bit sore, but you're so relieved. You're so happy. You're, you're absolutely like you're so charged with positive energy because you just mastered one of the most exciting things that will probably ever happen in my life. And um, so I was super happy. I was, I was brimming for energy. Despite of having spent all my energy during this spacewalk, I still had energy just by the emotional part that uh, having done such a huge accomplishment. And then you talk with your friends and every, everyone has to report something. Everyone has been outside. Everyone also has been inside helping the colleagues outside. So that it was just a huge moment of joy, of um, alleviation. Everyone was happy that we could do it, that we achieved our objectives, that we could solve um, even the problems that we faced. And uh, we all were happy to be back inside again and to have uh, completed one of the biggest objectives of our spaceflight mission. So we shared the stream, we lived the stream together, and we had lots uh, to talk about afterwards. And uh, the best thing was uh, like 
afterwards I could enjoy again going to the toilet, uh, having uh, warm and hot drinks and not like the cold water that I had with me outside to enjoy the food, to indulge in all the sweet stuff that usually I eat a little bit less, but after a space walk you're allowed and you can do and enjoy everything. And then like after several hours just for calming down, enjoying and walking again to the cupola looking outside again and just like observing and thinking like oh that's the area where i was outside there I did this so i i mentally again walked outside and then i went to bed very late in the evening uh, physically completely tired but mentally still like like walking outside and uh, analyzing everything and then when i finally fell to sleep and I usually don't dream, but this night I woke up three times, I believe, uh, because I was dreaming that I was falling away, that my safety tethers uh, had disconnected from the space station and that I was lost in space and like, oh, I woke up and like, okay, it's a dream. And uh, it's a funny thing. And everyone said like the same happened to them as well. It's like, it's just mentally so fatiguing, so intense and uh, so many emotions. So it keeps the brain busy. And to sum it all up, the spacewalk has been one of the best things I've ever done in my life.